Well, hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Gene Santis and today I've got something special for you. I've been working tirelessly with mages and magicians to create for you the magic spells in Minecraft. Now I'm going to show you four different magic spells I've made and I'm going to teach you how I made them and uh, show you the mechanics behind them so that you can start messing around and maybe find your own uh, spells. I have created over here a nice little dude called Wizard Wilfred. Now Wizard Wilfred is also a person I'm going to teach you later on how to make. But this dude here, as you can see, he buys dirt. Wizards love dirt. If you didn't know that already, it's a solid fact. Wizards love dirt. So Wizard Willy, Wizard Wilfred is going to buy dirt off of us and he's going to give us back a few spells, as you can see. We got lightning, vangs, fireball and smoke. Now let's just buy a few of all of them. Now, we have the different kinds of spells in our inventory right now. And as you can see, we can drop them. We can drop the spells and then the spell will go in effect. So as you can see the smoke over here, it's just basically a smoke screen. It's not too exciting. It's just a smoke screen. Next, we have lightning. Now, I can already hear you thinking, what the hell would that do? Well, it's not that if net hard. Actually, it's just lightning. You drop the spell. Three lightning balls come raining down from the sky to rain down fire. How about that? A lightning spell for you to use. Next up, we have a fireball. Now, that's also not really something that you can uh, expect to happen, but I, it is a fireball. As you can see, it destroys blocks as well. It summons 10 evoker vanks that are in flames, uh, which are going to come up from the earth and just swallow everything whole. Fantastic. Now, how do we make these? Every spell has a few basic principles behind them and that's these two lines. You can do every spell with these two lines. The first command block over here is just going to give us our, uh, our piece of paper with the name on it. Now to get a piece of paper you uh, need to give the person that you want to give it to a paper with the display name uh, and then Vangs. Over there, this one is Vangs but this one here you can just change it to whatever the spell needs to be named. Next up this is an important one. I'm going to put it on the screen for you. This block is going to execute at a paper entity and the paper entity needs to be called Fireball or whatever the spell is named. So this, this will only execute if there is an item in the world which is a piece of paper with that name. It's going to look at the piece of paper, it's going to check if it's actually named the same name as in here. And then after that it's going to be running, kill, entity, and then again the piece of paper with that name. As you can see the piece of paper is now in my hand and if I drop it, it's gone. It's not going to fall on the ground, it's just going to be removed from the game. Now that is what the first line of command blocks does. It's, uh, it's just going to recognize if the spell is actually in the world and it's going to delete it. Now this one is by the way going to be on repeat and always active because it always needs to check if the, if the paper is actually on the ground. Now, next up, we are going to implement the actual spells. Now, for the first one, it's just a fireball. Over here, you do execute at the nearest player, and then you're going to run uh, to summon a fireball. Now, this fireball is going to be 10 blocks into the direction uh, the, per the player is watching, and 10 blocks higher from there. So, wherever the player is watching, that's where the fireball is going to spawn. Now, over here, we have the stats for the fireball, which we don't really need. The only thing we do need in this is the power. The power needs to be set to minus 0.2. This means that the fireball will go from up to down in a uh, 0.2 blocks per tick. Now, and if we have that, then you can see that the piece of paper will be removed when we drop it and the fireball will be spawned 10 blocks in front and 10 blocks higher from us. For the next one, the smoke screen, it, it is practically the same thing. You, you run the second command which we had, uh, but only here you change the both of the names where we first had fireball. Right here, you change it to smoke or whatever you want the name to be. And over here you do a run, kill, entity, the paper, and again with the name smoke or whatever it needs to be. Then you're going to uh, execute at the nearest player and run another summon and this time it's going to be an area effect cloud. Now the area of effect cloud you can also give it an actual effect like a poison field but for now it's just smoke. Now this is going to summon one block higher than where we are looking right now uh, and over there it's gonna give us the particle poof 
with a radius of 7 and duration of 100. Now you can mess around with these numbers as well. Now you can change the particle as well. I found that poof works best for the smoke. And then you just drop it and poof, your smoke. Fantastic. Alrighty then, next one. This one is a little bit more difficult because we have three over here. This one is the, basically the same in the first block, only you're going to change it to lightning and the second one also to lightning or whatever you want the spell to be named. Then you're going to summon the first lightning bolt seven blocks ahead of where the player is watching. And then you just repeat that, but instead of here you, you place another one so that in seven blocks in front of us and one block to the left is going to be one and then the same thing over here but then one block minus so then also one block to the right so seven blocks ahead of us one to the left one to the right and that's where the lightning bolts are going to spawn and as you can see like intended now for the fangs this one is a little bit more elaborate so I'm going to try to explain it. Uh, this one is the same, the first command here, um, only the difference is that the name is different like every other one. Now, this one is going to summon uh, one Evoker Vang five blocks ahead of the, where the player is watching. Now, also, it has fire, it has visual fire, and it has a warm up of minus 20. And it has a passenger, which is also an evoker van. Now I'm going to explain everything about the passengers and the longer commands because I didn't write these. Please don't believe that I wrote these. Hell nah, no, no, no. We, we, we got a tool for that, it's um, mcstacker.net. You can mess around with it already, but I'm going to make a video of it next week and, and show you how to actually use it. Uh, but this one has a passenger on top of it, meaning you have an evoker van on top of an evoker van. And that's both going to hop, both going to chomp, chomp them up and as you can see this one has a warm-up of five so this one is going to be a lot later than the first one and um, over here we're going to do it the same thing the same thing all right uh, and then we do the same principle as we did here uh, because here this one is going to summon the first one is going to summon five blocks ahead of us the second one is going to summon five blocks ahead of us and one block to the left then this one is going to summon five blocks ahead of us, one to the right, etc. Now, as you can see, if we summon this and use that, there we go. And that's all of the spells for now. So lightning, we got the smoke, we got the fireball, the fangs. Now you can do a lot of stuff with it. I've been messing around a little bit and I've coming, I've been coming to a lot of ideas on what you can do with it. And hopefully this gives you a basic understanding of how you can actually use this. Um, if it is not that clear just yet, just let me know and I'll try to make it even clearer. Uh, but if you know uh, the first command to delete the paper and then the second one, that, that, that's all you need. That's all you need. You just need to see if the paper has a name, you need to destroy that and then after that you use the chain commands to actually use the spell behind it. Alrighty then. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you can do with these spells. Let me know what you have done with these spells. Leave a like, subscribe, and then we'll see you in the next one. Alrighty. Bye-bye.